right, we are up. You got a little extra energy today, so you're gonna be doing lots of trotting, my dear. Sweaty pony. That's God's way of saying, Sophie, let them shave the pony's neck. <laughs> Doesn't want to do it. Getting my horse was seriously the best thing that ever happened to me. Like, I've been riding this whole entire winter. How many winters have I ever continued to ride? When have I ever ridden in the snow you before? And you didn't even want to get on a horse? I know, it was terrifying, but Penny just stands like a stock still, doesn't move. Like, the, she does have problems though. Like, when she gets scared, she runs. <laughs> and she does little bucks. Yeah, but she's smooth, so they're not big, right? Yeah. Change your eyes. Are your boots too big for your feet, Sophie, or do they fit? They're too big. Okay. Did she say they fit? Did she say they fit? Did you say they fit? Yeah. Oh, I swear okay. they're too then big. Then your stirrup is a little too far back. Remember, you have your t you have your toes in the ball of your foot. The stirrup should sit just at the ball of your foot, not at your toes. It should not touch your toes. It should be behind them. We haven't been here in five days. That hasn't happened this whole winter. Yeah. You're okay, Finny Finn. Someone in Ottawa is calling me? You can leave a message. Yeah. <laughs> it's gorgeous out. Mm -hmm. Rise. I didn't measure those. It's okay. You should just drop them. We had her trotting them the other day. Our last lesson we worked on actually making him trot over them instead of jump them. Little half halt release. Half halt release. Half halt release. Yeah, so uh, she told you that they jumped high, eh? Yeah. She texted me and told me she fell off. Yeah. Most fun times. It's a little big for her. Yeah, well, I didn't know how big it was until after her. I'm like, well, how big was that? It seemed a natural progression in the lesson. Because she was doing so good. But I, it's hard to tell how tall everything is. People are saying it wasn't that tall, but Brandon says it was that tall. There you go. Give a pat. You process that one. Licking and chewing, that's good boy. You know, it's fixing my poles. I feel like you're going not straight. Sophia, drop your knees down and use your thighs. Breathe. Remember, he can have a long trot, but not a fast trot. She did tell me as soon as I walked in the door, first thing out of her mouth. I'm not very confident in jumping right now. Yeah, she is though. I said you'll be fine with stuff that we did like last week. Yeah, she, she'll get right into it. Out. Outside rain, outside leg, outside rain, outside leg. Good. Big Any breath out. Good boy, he may walk now. Woohoo! Two point trotting. Two Those point? Those legs look way better, Sophia. And grip with your thigh, not your knee. Yes, good bouncing angles. Is it burning? Are your legs staying in place? Are you going to keep them in place when you go rising? Pardon? Are you going to keep your legs in place when you go rising? Yes. And go rising. Show me. That you can keep them back there. You may rise. Breathe, honey. Not the hands, it's the body. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we want to. Picking up our love friends, fill up the car to live best because we want to. Do it again without your hands. Me? Sophie. Your leg position. 
Breathe, tighten your thigh. And a lot less rain. <laughs> Sit and ask. Now a little rain to stop him. Good girl, give him a pat. You just, you just have to take a little more time. When, it's the same as when you're in the ring. If you hear the judge say, everybody canner, you don't jump into a canner. You don't wanna be the first one into it. You wanna take your time, balance your horse, set them up for success, and then go ahead. Make same, it pretty. same with a halt. Prepare your horse. Don't just go, oh, thank God I get to stop and slam on the brakes. Breathe, sit, take the two extra seconds of pain, deal with it, and stop. I want you guys to ride a figure eight hot dog style up the center line, please. Figure eight hot dog style? Yeah, so you're coming straight up the center line, changing direction. Straight up the center line, changing direction. Um, I have no Follow Gabby. Does she even have to Well, that was a really crooked center line. Me? Yes, you. That's right, you gotta ride your line. That's out of my legs. <laughs> you, you picked it in the beginning, look up. Look at the door. Now ride a straight line to the door. Change your eyes, keep riding straight. Right leg, hold them straight. Straight, right leg. Now look and turn, right leg. Good job, nice corner. Don't pull back to your belly button, please. Look up. Hands forward, straight line, ride straight, change your ride. Good, ride straight, keep riding straight. Do not let them jog. There you go. Yes, nice corners. So now that you've got this figured out other than Sophie just did a massive turn there. Your next challenge. You're gonna continue riding the same pattern, except you must canter the rail. Oh, I want to do that when I and have a lesson. And then trot right there, Gabby. Trot the corner, trot the center, trot the corner, canter the straight. I want to do that. Corner, look up. Canter the rail. Stay up in your light seat, please. Now breathe out like you're going to walk. You got to ask sooner if your horse is going to keep cantering on you. That's not a straight line. It is a lot of work to ask your horse to only canter seven strides. Ah, too early. Don't let him do the deciding. Good. Slow your eyes, Sophie. Look. Keep your hands quiet. Trot the corner. Wait. And canter. And trot. Good. Look up. When you want him to come down, Gabby, sink into your saddle and tighten your thighs. Yeah, sit, breathe out like you're gonna walk. It's hard to sit because he wants to get him. But you know how to make him walk, right? Yeah. You're still thinking trot. I would rather see him come to a dead halt down there when you ask him to trot. Good. Now sink your seat bones. Good. <laughs> it's not an easy exercise, is it? When he starts to head shake, don't give in to him. Just say, fine, my hands are rocks. You deal with it. It's his, it's his deal if he wants to shake his head. You ride so solid and steady. Way better, Gabby. So this exercise is not easy because your horses do have to compact their body. Much better. All right, take a walk break. That's all right, he's not actually moving that fast. You can soften your elbows and let his head go. Half halt release. Do not hold his face. Inside rein, inside leg, put a spiral on your body and ride him from your legs and your core. Stand up. Turn your body. Bring your left shoulder back, honey. There you go. Much better. Yep. Half halt big when he gets a little sassy. And then let him go. 
Okay, we're gonna do the same exercise. Get your bum out of that saddle. We're gonna count our strides at the gate. Breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Good job. Let's do it again. See what he, if he's consistent or not. Breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Not consistent or not using your corners. Which was it? That's right. You missed your corners. You lose a stride by cutting your corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Better. Okay, you're gonna lengthen his stride and let him get thirteen. Breathe. There, that's perfect. One, two, three, four, corners, six, corners, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Even better, but you gotta use your corners or it would have been a thirteen. Breathe. Lift your inside shoulder up and back. Push him over with your rein. Do not let him gallop. Thank you. There. We're still in control. We're just allowing him to learn how to stretch. In a minute. <laughs> you see how many laps your sister did? Slow him down and give me 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It was a nice 13. Finn's like, don't make me pay for her bad inside behavior. Inside rein, inside leg, spiral your body. Wow, you can do it. Don't forget to ride the horse. Stand up tall. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Breathe. Keep cantering. Get your bum up. We're gonna canter one more lap. If you can stay in light seat, we're gonna be done after one more. If you sit down, you gotta do three more. Oh God. Don't sit down. Sometimes we have to find a little bit more enthusiasm for the pain. Go ahead and walk. <laughs> yes. I thought you were going to say something like super ins inspirational, like sometimes you just have to dig a little deeper to get you further. Sometimes you have to like the pain more. <laughs> you, you just have to enjoy the pain for one more lap. I know. I love pain. Just I mean, I don't love pain. No pain, no gain. Yeah, you do. Like, as soon as I get up, my knee hurts. Yeah. Suddenly, when I'm walking, too. my knee... Some pain feels good, though. Not in a weird way, but like... Um, every time I'm far less than not as I am Don't need anybody else, else. We came to party all night long And we don't need no chaperone We don't need no Inside leg, inside rein. Put it under her strap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Let's do it in fifteen. Breathe. Hands forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Do you know why you got fifteen? Because you cut your corners, you didn't go any faster. Use your corners and let him stretch his legs. At least she's resourceful. One, two, three, four, push him over, six, push him over, eight, push him over, ten, push him over, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Well done. <laughs> One more lap, you can hold your bum up. You know you don't actually want to wake up, so. Breathe. Now I want you to find a nice quiet canner without shortening your stride too much. Breathe out, little half hold. Your legs are looking much better. All right, go ahead and walk. Looking up. Just trotting over some drop holes. Just take a big breath. Not asking you to jump four feet. Good, good. Remember to trust him. Change your eyes, breathe. Soften your hands. Breathe, breathe. Yes, 
Yes, good boy. See how much better he's getting at just trotting them? Breathe out. I'm not putting them up today, Sophia. Okay? They're looking much better. I want you to think about a consistent rhythm with your bum, though. Good. Good. Now go ahead and pick up your canter, please. Big breath out. You got it. And a one, two, three. One, two, three. Good job. He had a poo. <laughs> yeah, you, had you can walk. Sophie was starving. I could tell she lost her energy at the end. It was a really hard lesson, but it was a needed lesson. All right, are you feeling better? So have you ever been out there doing something super physical and then all of a sudden your energy runs out? That's what happens to my kids sometimes. It happens to me sometimes too. It's like you have to have enough food into your body that's going to last long enough. What did you eat before we left? All I had today was toast toast so who's responsible for making sure you have what you need who who you, you. Yeah. no Sophie before we leave to go to the bar and you always are allowed to make something to eat so that you're feeling good we were kind of rushed Fiona messaged and said that she needed to go early she needed to ride earlier so she's a baby so it's harder to like kind of get things going so next time we have to be careful usually it's Gabby who doesn't eat I feel like Gabby is I feel like Gabby's coming out of the stage and Sophie's going into the stage, if that makes sense. Don't you know that you're beautiful?